So this is what will be a really nice uh, practice for half equations, but also to understand the, the product of electrolysis. And uh, let's look at the two important rules for understanding which one is the product. So one thing, as I mentioned already, is that at the cathode, remember cathode attracts cations. And remember that cations are those that are positively charged, okay? And at the cathode, because those are positive charge, they become neutral, so they gain electrons. So gaining electrons means reduction has taken place. The important rule at the cathode is that uh, the least reactive cation is formed, okay? So if we have, for example, an aqueous solution where we have H plus and magnesium two plus, hydrogen will be produced as a product, as a gas, because electrolysis, remember, always forms the, the elements. So from ions to elements will be the least reactive. The rule at the anode, and I move it and write like here, yeah, at the anode, so anode is the opposite, attracts anions. Anions are those that are negatively charged. So we need to think always that uh, there could be, for example, if there is water present, we could always have oxygen. Okay, so we need to identify the negative ions. And these negative ions, they're already negative. So to form the elements, they will lose electrons. So they lose electrons, which means that they are reduced, no, sorry, oxidized. So oxidation takes place. Oxidation at the anode, oxidation takes place. And the rule for that is that an, uh, so oxygen would be formed so as an O2, of course, it's element, oxygen is formed unless an halogen is present. So if we have a solution of, for example, we have oxygen and we have chlorine, chloride ion, it would be chloride formed as a product because that's an halogen. If we have oxygen and, for example, sulfur would be oxygen as, of course, the element O2 as a gas that will be formed instead, okay? So those are the two important rules. Let me highlight them very nice and big in yellow. Those are the rules to work out which one is the product if we have multiple ions, of course, okay? So this means we need to keep in mind the aqueous solution. If it's molten, remember, it's just that the uh, molten means uh, uh, in the simply liquid form. So you have only the ions of the ionic compound free to move, okay? While aqueous means dissolved in water, okay? So you could, could try to complete this worksheet and practice the half equation. And I have a lot of other videos about half equations actually that could be useful, but for now I want you to practice at least that the products at the negative and positive electrode. Just the last thing to mention before you start, that the negative electrode it means that attracts positive. So what is that? Is the cathode. While the positive electrode attracts, an, attracts negative, so it's the anode. Okay, now you can get started.